In this video, I'm gonna be making a low poly electric guitar in Blender. Let's go. So first things first, I'm gonna get rid of the default cube and then bring in an image of a real electric guitar. And then I'm just gonna trace around that with a single vert. And if any of that does not make sense, let me know in the comments and I can explain step by step how to enable all those extra features. And now that the outline is done, I'm just selecting all the vertices and then hitting F on my keyboard to fill it in with a face. And then I'm also doing a bevel, which looking back in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done the way that I did, but I thought it needed that. And it's gonna cause some problems later in the video you'll see around the pick guard. And then I'm gonna create the neck of the guitar by bringing in a plane and then just making sure everything lines up correctly. And then I'm gonna do pretty much the exact same thing to create the headstock just by extruding that top edge and making sure that all the side vertices line up correctly with the image. I actually had a little bit of trouble creating the curve on the underside of the neck and like the area where it connects to the body and the headstock. It took me a few tries and actually I cut that stuff out so that the video wouldn't be too long. I'm not 100% satisfied with the way that it turned out, but I think it does look okay for a low poly model. And especially since it's gonna be part of a larger scene where details like that won't even matter. Creating the tuning post was really easy. I just brought in a cylinder and used a boolean to subtract another cylinder from it to create that little hole where the strings get wrapped up in. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would love it if you would leave a like on this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Creating the fretboard inlays was kind of interesting. There's probably a lot of different ways that I could have done this, but I chose to basically trace around it with loop cuts and then move vertices around so that I could actually select the faces around the inlays and then just change the material of it. And now to create the pick guard, I'm just doing some more of the same. I'm just basically tracing around the outside with the single vert and then hitting F on my keyboard to create a face and then I am extruding it just a little bit. And then right here is where I had that problem that I talked about earlier with the beveling on the body. And as I'm creating this little L bracket, I realized that since I beveled the body, it's not really um, lining up correctly, but I ended up making it work. I just kind of brought it down a little further than it probably should have been, but um, it worked. And then to create the pickups, nothing too crazy. I just brought in a plane and then I rounded the corners with bevel and I gave it a little bit of depth with extrude and then I just copied it. I duplicated it to create the metal part and then I beveled the top of that to give it kind of uh, those rounded edges.
Looking back on making the tone knobs, I kind of wish I would have made it a little less low poly, and instead of giving it eight sides, I wish I would have done like 12 or 16, just a little bit more, maybe even 20, just to give it um, a little bit more of a round shape to it. The strings were pretty easy. I just started with a single vert and then extruded it along the line that it should follow. And I wrapped it around the tuning post and then inside that little hole, kind of like how a real guitar string would do. And then I converted it over into a curve. And inside of the curve modifier, I added some depth to the bevel to give it some depth. <laughs> and I was looking online for the different measurements for the different strings, but ultimately I just ended up doing it by eye because the measurements I was getting wasn't really translated well I didn't think at least and um, so then after that all I did was hit shade smooth on it and then I added a subdivision modifier to it by hitting control and two and that makes it look really nice and clean and smooth so overall I think the strings looked really good and I just had to kind of edit the vertices on them so that they wouldn't overlap each other And the last step was to create the finish or the paint on the body of the guitar. And I knew I wanted to do this sort of uh, red sunburst because I've always really liked the way that that looks. And it was actually a lot harder than I expected it to be. I did a texture paint on it. And so I did this by hand and it took me a few tries, but I, in the end, I think I got it. I also wanted to give it kind of a wood grain feel. So I brought in a noise texture and I kind of squished that down and made it flat. And then I brought in a color ramp and gave it some wood tone colors. And then I mixed that together with the original sunburst picture. And I used a mix RGB set on multiply to do that. And yeah, so that's how I made a wooden sunburst texture. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Like I said, this guitar is gonna be part of a bigger scene, and when that time lapse is available, I'm gonna stick it right up here in the top right, and if you wanna check out the drums that I made for this scene, I'm gonna stick that right here in the bottom right. And until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next video.